The journey of resilience to the space station, the next ocean observing satellite, and an update on a critical rocket test series for our Artemis missions. A few of the stories to tell you about this week at NASA. On November 15th, NASA astronauts Mike Hopkins, Victor Glover, Shannon Walker, and Japan's Soichi Noguchi headed skyward from our Kennedy Space Center aboard the SpaceX Resilience Crew Dragon spacecraft. Not even gravity contains humanity when we explore as one for all. The successful launch kicked off the first crew rotation mission to the International Space Station and the first of six certified crew missions NASA and SpaceX will fly as part of our commercial crew program. Another view from Crew Dragon looking at its future destination, its future home for the next six months, the International Space Station. The next day, Resilience and its crew closed in on the space station, successfully docking to the orbiting outpost at 11.01 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. This is Resilience. Excellent job right down the center. SpaceX and NASA, congratulations. This is a new era of operational flights to the International Space Station from the Florida coast. A while later, the Expedition 64 crew aboard the station welcomed its four newest members, whose arrival increases the space station's long-duration expedition crew size from six to seven crew members for the first time ever. They will conduct science and maintenance during their six-month stay, which is scheduled to be the longest human space mission launched from the United States. And liftoff of the Sentinel-6 Michael, Michael Freilich satellite launched November 21st from California's Vandenberg Air Force Base. It is the first of two identical satellites scheduled to make global sea level observations for at least the next decade as part of a U.S.-European collaboration. Sentinel-6 Michael Freilich's twin, Sentinel-6B, is scheduled to launch in 2025. Engineers at our Stennis Space Center successfully repaired a valve inside the core stage of our Space Launch System rocket and are now preparing for a wet dress rehearsal the week of December 7th. The wet dress is part of the rocket's Green Run test series in preparation for launches of Artemis missions to the moon. A hot fire test where all four of the rocket's engines will be fired to simulate a launch is currently targeted to wrap up the testing series the week of December 21st. On November 18th, Russian cosmonauts Sergei Risikov and Sergei Kutsverchkov ventured outside the International Space Station to prepare for the arrival of a new Russian research module. The new module, named Nauka, Russian for science, is being prepared for launch at the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan. NASA researchers using computer models to create a COVID-free 2020 scenario for comparison found that since February, fewer amounts of some pollutants have been found in Earth's atmosphere than usual. The exercise attempted to examine how much of this was a result of changes in human activity due to pandemic-related restrictions. The diminished pollutants include a nearly 20% reduction in nitrogen dioxide, which is primarily produced by the burning of fossil fuels used by industry and transportation. That's what's up this week at NASA. For more on these and other stories, follow us on the web at nasa.gov twan.